This is chilling injury. Um, it didn't kill the plant. It killed the growing part, so the plant developed proportionally, and the end of the leaf was still in the bud and somewhat protected, so it grew out normally. And this is typical of what we see is what I call tattered. Uh, on, on some oaks, they'll grow out normal, but they'll have these points like this as the terminal ends of the leaf. And occasionally, a, a symptom on certain plants is some little holes down here by the base of the leaf. And that's chilling injury or cold injury. It's not freeze injury. Freeze injury, we all know, soft spring growth just burns down and it's blackened. But this type of thing, as you can see why I was freaking, we now have uh, glyphosate resistant products. We use gramoxone for kill down in the spring on neighboring farms. Gramoxone will go aerial and cause some problems on plants. The use of 2,4-D to get mare's tail and some of the other glyphosate resistant diseases I mean, in weeds, and so these are products that are detrimental to ornamental plants. And so I always, whenever I see any sort of growth deformity, my immediate response is, oh my gosh, what have they done to me now? And, <laughs> and I take it personally, uh, and this year, um, both sides of our botanic garden and our research area uh, were sprayed with 2,4-D on a spray coop doing 15 miles an hour on a 20, 20 mile an hour wind day. And so I just assumed, I just assumed that they had dosed my plants that had come out very early. You remember 90 degrees before this happened, April 10th or something. And you can see that on the plant. You'll see a lot more damage inside down low than you will at the top of the plant. That's how close it was, like a 34 degree dew point or something. And so uh, in our growing area, we had red uh, black gums in a trial. And then down there, right down there at the bottom of that roadway right there where it dips, there was a black gum just planted in the landscape. It was almost totally defoliated. And these you had to go through to find a few leaves like this. I mean, elevation made all the difference. And then, as you can see here, another telltale symptom of it, it's down in here from April 10th. And then the growth was somewhat stunted. So we have all new growth of normal growth, but it's not as much as what Kenton would have expected. And that's because some of those buds in there were damaged and it, they stopped growing and it took them a second or two while this was going on to start to grow again. So he would have expected about a foot to 15 inches and what he's got is about eight or nine inches. So that's not all bad and it covers it up from when you have visitors to the nursery as far as picking out new plants, buying plants and tagging plants. This video has been part of the University of Kentucky Nursery Crops web series. For more information on the topics discussed, please contact your county extension office.